Hey guys, the dude from Denmark here. Welcome to episode 3 of Commander 13, the new Commander expansion that's about to come out from at the Gathering. More spoilers have been revealed today, so let's check them out. First card I want to show today is called Tempt with Immortality. That's a black sorcery spell that costs you 5 mana to cast. You got a new mechanic in, uh, in Commander 13 that's called Tempting Offer, where you return a, a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each opponent may return a creature card from his or her graveyard to the battlefield. For each player who does, return a creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. I really like this mechanic and it uh, it seems like it would be uh, it would remind you uh, kind of uh, joint forces we had in another uh, commander decks. Um, I definitely think it's, this is a nice card and I really love how, uh, again, it's really tempting for the opponent to uh, to return a creature card uh, from his graveyard to the battlefield. But it, it has a cost which is uh, actually really uh, dangerous in this uh, in this uh, place, I think. So, uh, so it's definitely a fun card. I would love to uh, to play around with. I'm also really looking forward to see uh, the the tempting offer mechanic in the the other colors if we get that. Hopefully, it would be interesting to see uh, to see what kind of uh, stuff the other colors would do for this. But it definitely seems like a fun mechanic. Infinite decides. It's a blue uh, gene creature that costs you six mana to cast. It's a two seven and got flying. You can tap it to exchange control of two target non-legendary creatures. You, you can activate this ability during combat. Imagine if you could do this during your combat phase, that would be really crazy. Um, I think it's a nice creature and I love how, uh, how it's a 2-7, it got a really nice uh, body. Um, and the whole exchange, the control of two target uh, creatures seems really interesting. That did not say it's an uh, opponent's creature, because uh, in multiplayer, uh, when you're together with others, you can also uh, exchange targets. With your uh, with your partner, so I definitely think that this is a seems like a really a uh, really nice blue creature. Vanek Genesis is a a commander that belongs to the same colors as Oluru, which is the white, blue, and uh, black commander. This uh, this commander costs you three mana to cast and is a two two. You can pay one blue mana. Target cr non creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness each equal to its converted mana cost on the end of turn. You can pay one one white and one black mana. Target artifact creed against death, touch, and lifelink on 10 of turn. With this commander, I'm wondering if uh, Oluru would be a uh, his deck would be a uh, an artifact deck, since we now have this uh, this uh, this commander that revolves around artifacts. So uh, it would definitely be uh, be exciting to see if uh, if we get an artifact like uh, commander decks. Gambit is a blue instant spell that costs you four mana to cast. Cast illusion Gambit only during the declare blocker step on an opponent's turn. Remove all attacking creatures from combat and untap them. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Each of those creatures attack that combat if able. They can attack you or a planeswalker you control that combat. What a typical blue card. This is so nice and I really don't want to end up playing against one with this, uh, this card. I really think it's annoying. Curse of Inertia is a blue enchantment hour curse that costs you 3 mana to cast. Enchant player. Whenever a player attacks enchanted player with one or more creatures, that attacking player may tap or untap target permanent of his or her choice. It's nice that we get a circle with these uh, with these curses now. Yesterday we saw the red the red version of uh, of these uh, curses. I really like this one, and I'm definitely stoked about that we are uh, that we're getting curses again. The green version of the curse is Curse of Predation, which costs you three mana to cast. It's an enchantment hour curse, and you can enchant player. Whenever whenever a creature attacks enchant player, put a one one counter on it. This one is kind of boring and simple, but uh, I guess it's uh, it's fine since uh, you uh, you get a, a stronger creature out of it. Diviner Spirit is a blue spirit creature that costs you five mana to cast. It's a two four, and whenever Diviner Spirit deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each draw that many cards. S card on the show today is called Servia's Scope, which is an artifact that costs you two mana to cast. You can tap it to exile Servia's Scope. Search your library for up to X basic land cards, where X is the number of players who control at least two more lands than you. Put those cards onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. It's always nice to get a to get a card that can uh, fix some mana for you. This is uh, this is definitely a card that uh, belongs in multiplayer, since uh, X is the number of uh, players that uh, control more lands than you. So uh, against uh, one uh, one another person, uh, it seems uh, it doesn't seem really well, since you can only fetch like one land. <laughs> That's of course really good, but in multiplayer it would be a lot better. So uh, definitely a, a good card, I think. Those are the cards I wanted to show today. You can leave me a comment down below and tell me which commander you like the most and the cards we have seen so far in general. 
we know there are new uh, spoilers coming out for Commander 13, I'll be putting a new video up. So if you're interested in this, you can subscribe to me. Until next time, have fun guys.